This is the base of our homework writing machine. We will attach these arms of the mechanism to the base using screws. Carefully align the arms and the base. Use a screwdriver to tighten the screws. Now before attaching the motor to the arms, we will attach a gear. Press the gear on the motor. The motor is ready to go. Make sure the wire side of the motor is on the left side, cause that's where the plotter blocks will be. Fix the motor on the arms using screws. Again, fix the gear to the motor. Make sure the gear is in contact with the rail. Fix the motors with the screw. Now attach the servo motor. Again, as the screws are small, make sure to use a screwdriver. Now attach the plotter blocks.
make sure to use rubber washers with screws while attaching the plotter blocks. Now hold the blocks in place and flip the board to attach the nuts. Make sure the wires are not loose and not over the canvas. Attach the LED strip beneath the plotter. Carefully take out the wire to the front and connect it to the blocks. Attach the servo arm into the pen holder. To make it more sturdy, we will use a screw. Remember to use the screw to tighten the pen in the pen holder. There are three ways to get the plotter software. You can either scan the QR code on the card which you will get in the box or directly type the link on your favorite browser search bar or just download it from the Bitblocks app. Install the software and start using it. 
So once you have downloaded and installed all the softwares and drivers, let's get started with how to use that software. Click on the Benbox icon. Over here, this interface is actually the Benbox laser engraver. So this is an open source software to make your own laser engraver. We'll be using it to make our plotter. So initially, let's connect our plotter and turn on the power switch. Click on this menu button and select servo. Click on the serial port and select the COM8. This COM8 will come only if the drivers have been installed properly. So make sure that the drivers have been installed properly. The number of the COM that is the communication port may change according to your model, but this should come. If this is not coming in your list, this means that the drivers have not been installed properly. So you need to reinstall your drivers. So select your COM, select servo. Now do these following settings. Pen up. As we are going to connect the pen to the servo, this pen up means that the angle at which the pen is raised when it is raised above the paper. Pen down. So this is the angle at which the pen needs to be placed when the plotter is actually writing. Next, this is the speed and this is the time. Let's freeze these settings and let's keep it 100 over here. And let's keep these settings as it is, as these are the calibration of the plotter that you're going to use. Over here, we have scan by line, scan by Z shape and outline. Scan by line, what actually means is it will create dotted patterns. You may try this, but it is actually of no use to us. Scan by Z shape is actually the mode when we are using the laser engraver. So since we are not using the laser engraver, we'll skip this. We'll be using outline over here. Next, we click on this arrow and move on to these settings. We keep step settings as 2 and 3 as it is. We keep DIR as 5 and 6. Minimum minus 1 minus 1. Maximum minus 1 minus 1. PPM 2800. So in Y axis also PPM 2800. So we have tested all these numbers. Next, laser, servo, feed rate and all. This is of no use to us. We go to the last button this tick mark over here. When we click this tick mark, all these settings are passed on to your plotter. Now we can get back to our drawing sheet. We have all these functions on the top over here and towards the left, we have the drawing tools. So one by one, let us know what are these functions. First, this is the open file. So if you want any photo or any graphic design to be plotted, you can import that particular photo directly from here. These two buttons are for your X axis. So this is left. If you keep it pressed, the stepper motor is going to send your pen towards the left of your page. This is right. If you keep it pressed, the stepper motor is going to send the pen towards the right of your page. This is for Y axis up direction and this is for Y axis down direction. So this is left, right, up, down. As simple as it is. Now these are important buttons. This is the stop button for your servo motor, which is holding your pen. This is the button to bring your pen down. So if you press this, your pen goes up. And if you press this, the pen goes down. This is an interesting button. It has been specifically designed to test the tip touch of your servo pen. So whether your pen is actually touching the paper or not, we will use this button to confirm that. So just click it once and you will find that the pen goes down and comes up. This button is going to be used for mirror images. So when your drawing is complete, this button is used to send the entire drawing from your PC to the plotter. And if during the process, your plotter fails to deliver as per the drawing that you have created, then you can stop the process using this button. If you have a specific G code of your entire drawing, you can add the G code over here. And this button is specifically for updating the firmware of your Benbox software. So we'll not be using this button as of now. Coming back, this button over here is used to tag your objects. So currently we'll not be using that. So this is the canvas. This entire white space is your canvas. It starts with zero over here in this corner and it goes towards the right in the X direction and 
in the y direction it goes towards the down part you can actually shift this zero position using your mouse scroll so see if you scroll the zero is uh, shifted from its position so this pointer over here indicates this is the origin so whatever you will be drawing just draw beyond this area so we'll readjust the zero back to its original position okay now while drawing you'll have to be cautious about one thing that the canvas size of our plotter is 100 by 100 millimeters so you can see over here this is all in millimeters okay so the maximum length of the canvas and the maximum width of the canvas is 100 millimeters so initially what you need to do is you'll have to bring your pen in this zero area so you will be using these controls over here and bring your pen to the zero area somewhere over here so in our current layout what we'll do is we'll keep this button pressed so our servo motor in the y direction will bring the pen towards the up then we'll test it with the one touch button the button over here now we'll draw something so let us draw say a line so we'll draw a line so this line is a continuous line and it is like the same drawing tools that we normally have so over here when we want to finish our line or stop drawing the line we can use the right click button of your mouse so we have drawn this vague structure over here now what we'll do is we'll hit the play button over here and what this benbox software will do it will send the entire canvas to your plotter blocks and the plotter blocks will start drawing the entire canvas drawing that is present over here as you can see whatever the section of the drawing is being plotted that section has been highlighted by this software now let's talk about circles we have got arcs so you can draw arcs also like this try playing with these buttons this function which is called as the bend creator i guess so it helps us to create bends like this then we have text so you can add your own text over here and play with the font size and other things we select and we can place it over here so we can also select the photo so it's the same as the open function that we saw earlier and finally we'll hit the play button and we can get any design that we want 